How does the Apple make these awesome 3D moving animations as I scroll? Let's recreate something similar that listens to scroll and manipulates 3D objects fluidly as we go. It's actually easier than you'd think. I'll explain how I recreated it in Builder.io, as well as how the code works and how you can create something similar by hand or easier with the help of an LLM. So when it comes to 3D objects, there's a lot of specific values you need to make sure to get right that can be tedious to figure out by hand. I like to start with AI to make a lot of that boilerplate code easier and generated quickly. But the problem with AI for an intricate animation like this is it can be very hard to describe in words all the little details of what you want. That's where I like to provide to AI visuals, kind of like a storyboard. I gave it this hand drawing describing the different states so that it can have a clear understanding of what I'm looking for. So in builder.io, I've got a bunch of our repos connected. Here's the builder site. I can create a new branch off of it here in the UI. And then it drops me into the visual editor with my site loaded. I added a description of what I want in the prompt and uploaded that image. Then I found this free 3D model of an iMac, downloaded it, and I attached that too. And I'll let the AI get to work, building out all the boilerplate, installing the libraries, everything I need. As a fun side note, we just added GPT-5 Codex to Builder. I've been really enjoying using that model. After that's done running, I got this. Ugh. It took me a minute to realize the problem. The model is way too zoomed in. So you can give it feedback, tell it to be smaller, tell it any differences you want in interaction. We can collaborate with the AI just like a person. And after a few iterations, I'm really happy with the state we're in. We're using a minimal amount of libraries, the format scroll listening, and I can customize this any way I like. You can use the same technique for all kinds of cool things. Like check out this awesome 3D movement on scroll on the Mantis website. I love this technique so much. Or to zoom throughout a larger environment like this. Pretty cool. Now let's explain some code. So under the hood, Builder.io converted this model file into a URL on our CDN. And we're using the React 3 DREI helpers to help turn that URL into an object. And we can use a React component to load that primitive. We then at the top of the file, before we even render anything, preload that URL as well. These utilities are super handy. Then to track scroll progress, we can use a pretty simple React hook where we just track the overall scroll progress using event listeners, making sure to also recalculate it when the window resizes as well. Then we can make a component for our rig. Our rig is just that iMac model that we already created. And then we can pass in the progress and calculate the position and rotation based on the progress we're given. You can make this as complex as you like for different checkpoints to have different rotations and zooms and any other transformation that you like. And then here's the code that connects it all. We've got our scroll progress hook to always track that progress number. We create a canvas in React 3. We'll give it a background color of black. We'll add an ambient light so the mesh isn't completely dark. Then we've got this really cool environment component from React 3 DREI that gives us a pretty much no setup, really nice environment with ambient lighting, gives us those nice reflections. And then our scroll rig, that's what you saw before, that takes the progress and moves our iMac around to whatever position we specify. Now, I personally hate writing boilerplate code like this, so I really like to let tools handle it for me. And I like when the tool is visual so I can see what I'm working with. If you've ever wondered how AAA games create such stunning, immersive, detailed environments, you might have played with engines like Unreal Engine 4 and realized you don't hand code all this stuff like you would in something like CSS. They actually give you a whole suite of visual tools so you can have game designers actually do all these things visually, but it all connects to your code. The crazy thing, as you might've realized, is the world of the web and applications has been way behind on this type of tooling. And that might be contributing to why web app UIs tend to look so boring. But this is rapidly changing. In some ways similar to Unreal Engine, platforms like Builder.io and others give you a visual tool to work directly with code. So these precise edits you can iterate on quickly. You can have your designers directly in there making modifications. And any updates you like, you can just hit the send PR button to fire off a pull request. Designers get a powerful new canvas that does way more than design tools have ever done in the past. And developers just get clean, well-formatted pull requests. And if they want anything different, they can just tag the Builder.io bot and say like, move this to a new file. Whatever feedback you have, the bot will reply and push updates for you. And you can merge the PR when you're happy with it. This, in my experience, makes a pretty amazing workflow and something you should try. Go to sketchfab.com to find a whole bunch of cool 3D models you can play with. Check out React 3 Fiber and DREI for a bunch of great utilities to have fine-tuned control. And try AI tools like Builder.io to give you a visual natural language canvas to work with it that works with your code bases and lets you send PRs. Now, go build amazing things, and I'd love for you to show me what you create.